Uh, so what I'm doing right now is waiting for semantic. My or problem was getting out of safe mode. Yes. On the schizophrenic uh, computer. Schizoid, not schizophrenic. Oh, it's, it's, it's schizophrenic is is an insult to uh, mentally ill people. Well, schizoid. Schizoid. <clears throat> yes. Schizoid. Uh, when I try to boot into regular mode, part of the operating system thinks it's. Uh, in regular mode, uh, part of it thinks it's still in the same mode. Mm -hmm. This is because I did what you aren't supposed to do, and I didn't know it. I used msconfig to go into safe mode, mm -hmm. ran my virus scanner, mm -hmm. a vast amount of virus, mm -hmm. and malware bytes found the Trojan. Mm -hmm. Yes. I removed them. <laughs> And they uh, promptly replanted themselves, by the way. They, they hide behind the clock often. Uh, they quite planted often. themselves in the system restore points. Mm -hmm. And then hosed all the previous restore points. Right. So of course. I tried to use system restore mm -hmm. to boot up into the Hello. <laughs> Hello. All I'm doing is I'm getting the malware. Okay. Hey, uh -huh. hey. Yes. Oh, good. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, may I have your name, please? Mark? Okay. And, uh, uh, out of curiosity, where are you located, Mark? You're in Manila. Okay. Mark in Manila. Okay, well, this is, a. Uh, you're kind of late. Uh, you're about uh, an hour and 45 minutes. I bought uh, what we uh, Norton Ghost 15 because I was promised it would help me uh, reinstall backups that I made with Norton Ghost 9. Uh, I could just use Norton Ghost 9, but I'm stuck in safe mode, so I can't run it from the program installed on Windows. Uh, the Norton Ghost service will not boot up in safe mode. And for some reason, either there's something wrong with the disk, or there's something wrong with all of the disk drivers that have been put in in subsequent updates, uh, I cannot get it to boot up from the Norton Ghost 9 disk. And unfortunately, it just doesn't work with the backups that Norton Ghost 9 created. Now what I can do now is reboot uh, and boot up from the Norton Ghost 15 disk and uh, and uh, what I will do at that point is uh, we can start stepping through and see if you can figure out what's wrong. I was promised a call from the Norton Ghost team at 2 o'clock today. It's now 3.45. Hi. My friends need to go home, and I still have not been called by the Norton Ghost team, who is supposed to call me at 2 o'clock today. This is substandard service. This is making Symantec Corporation and Norton products look really, really bad. Very, very bad. We're very, working very on a documentary on YouTube, because you guys have failed me. Are you failed me? Roger! Norton has finally Roger. called back. They said they would call at 2. Okay. And it, well, he's just a little late, I guess. Anyway, okay, so some of the things that I did between the time I talked to you and now, uh, you suggested it wouldn't hurt to uh, reinstall the previous gear security drivers. Uh, and I've done that. Uh, I tried simply deleting the Sonic Solutions driver and deleting its registry key using uh, CCleaner and after I rebuilt it I found out the system couldn't see my hard drive on uh, my CD drive anymore so obviously that was a mistake I tried simply copy pasting it back in the back in the system uh, system 32 slash drivers uh, and restoring the register key, that oh, didn't work. And then finally, the last thing, uh, I've been tinkering with my startup list. Uh, I, I removed Windows Defender from the startup list. I, 
I've removed my sound card from the startup list. Uh, I've removed Spy by Search and Destroy. I've removed almost everything except Norton Goes 9, Windows programs, and Zonar uh, from the startup list. And then I accidentally booted into regular mode and it actually stayed booted up for a little while. I almost restored one of those V2i sets from Norton Ghost 9, but then it said, oh, you can't do this from within Windows. Oh, you have to do it. Yeah, wait another week if we can get it all done today. So if you can think of some way to get this done today. So you've looked up error EBAB0013 and you don't think there's any way I'm looking at the different there. versions of Norton Ghost 9 that I could buy on eBay. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. Uh -huh. Roger, I'm you want a network. fire drill, they're having a fire drill, and he'll call you back in 45 minutes. Do I have it that right? That used to happen when I was doing Me? it before. <laughs> yeah. Look, I may not be a man of integrity, but I play one on the internet, okay? <laughs> Nothing <Got> else. That. <laughs> we can show the world that Symantec Corporation does not really have the integrity to stand by their product. I really mean this. Uh, I've tried calling their customer, their technical support several times now. This is around the fourth or fifth time. Uh, several times back, the guy I talked to said, this number, 800-441, etc., is the direct number for the Norton Ghost team. What is, what is the full number? Uh, I'm not going to give it any. Okay. Okay. I have some concerns for their privacy. Okay, this is April 1st. On what date did you first contact them? Uh, April 1st, 2013. First contacted them well over I bought this product. And the guy told me that it would be good for restoring V2I files which were made by Norton Ghost 9. Right. I would not have bought the product had he not made that talk. For the uh, non cognizante what is a V25 file? Uh, V2I, V2I. Uh, is the format uh, that Norton Ghost by default uses, all right on Norton Ghost uses to create backups. Okay, explain for the audience what Norton Ghost is. Norton Ghost is a backup program. A backup program, okay. Which creates compressed huh? backups which take up less disk space. Right, right. Uh, and you can, uh, they, theoretically, it works better than Windows back. Okay, and how much does this uh, product cost? Uh, if you buy the full version directly from Symantec, mm -hmm. or buy the best buy or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to run you about 50 or 60 dollars. 50 or 60. I bought mine on eBay. Mm -hmm. If you had the support, it would be worth the 50 or 60. But you don't anyway, have the support. I have no reason to believe that this is not a perfectly legitimate copy of Norton Ghost. Well, didn't you tell me that they told you it was? No. They did not. He didn't. No, he didn't. For some reason, he can't look up the product code that came with the product and tell me whether or not it's legitimate. Not until it's installed. Mm. And I can't install it until I get out of safe mode. Right. I bought it in the first place. Let, let me just inter interject. Uh, I or ask a question. Are you going to call them or not? I'm calling. You calling? This is what happens. I know. You did call today, no, this I afternoon, while I, I was outside. I called uh, just a few minutes ago. Okay, just a few minutes ago. Six minutes and twenty-eight seconds ago. It's about three sixteen in the afternoon. And April first, two thousand thirteen. I'm in the exact same phone tree hell that you get into when you call any uh, North Symantec's support numbers. Uh -huh. Their support uh, team is just no good then. No, I'm saying their phone tree is no good. Uh, their machines that handle the phone tree are no good. And it doesn't keep their promises. The guy told me, this goes direct to the Norton Ghost team. Mm -hmm. It does not. It doesn't. It goes to the exact same phone tree hell as all the others. Mm -hmm. And here's what you hear. At www.norton.com slash chat.
Otherwise, please hold and our next available... John, tell me more about Symantec Corporation. Bitch and moan, go ahead. Bitch and moan, well, they've had some pretty good products over the years. Most of them, they bought from PowerQuest. When they bought up PowerQuest, they bought up Drive Image, and they integrated it with Norton Ghost, which was a separate product up until then. Uh, and uh, the early versions of Norton Ghost were excellent. I've already restored this computer using my Norton Ghost 9. What is their antivirus program called again? Uh, it I, has a different name than it used to. Many years ago I had it on, on my, went about computers. I had years. Norton Go, uh, Norton Antivirus. Uh, well, that's what it's called, Norton Antivirus, right. yes. They uh, have they have so many products. They have total internet security, they have antivirus, anti-malware, they have all kinds of uh, products, too many. They did an excellent job keeping my laptop virus-free. The only thing I didn't like... I have Kaspersky now. The only thing I did not like about it was that I could see on Task Manager is taking out so much of my mm -hmm. CPU time mm -hmm. and so much of my system memory. Mm -hmm. And on that laptop, I only had half a gigabyte of RAM. Mm -hmm. Now, Kaspersky, um, I, I feel the same way that my son Dylan feels about it. He said, quote, I'm quoting him, he said, uh, I like Kaspersky because it doesn't bother me, it doesn't interfere with me, it protects me, and it n never bothers me, and when I run a scan, I n it never finds anything, or if it does, it removes it very uh, efficiently. If I, if I go for... <laughs> <laughs> Kaspersky, I have I have heard and read oh, many, still on the many phone. good things. Uh, yeah, I'm still in phone tree hell. You're waiting? You're on wait? Yeah, You're on hold. Somebody on the Northern Ghost team might eventually answer the Could you phone. please have him set up an exact time? I'm waiting to know. It's really important to me that he Northern call Ghost 9 was a damn good product and I'm glad I bought it. Norton Ghost 15 may be a good product if I can ever get it to work. I would like to be able to recommend your product instead of having to tell people that so far it doesn't work for me. And so far your technical support has been really, really substandard. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Mark. You've done the best you can. I have been a poorly paid, poorly trained tech support rep, and I know how tough it can be. But I'm not blaming you personally for Symantec's failures, but I'm not happy with Symantec right now.